Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, got a good one for you today. I got something a little different. And uh, it has been raining. I mean, it really, we got real rain here, which is something that we don't usually get. But uh, it's been crazy and it finally stopped raining. So I wanted to shoot a quick video for you guys. But uh, the idea of a soft landing is completely out of the question right now, guys. And uh, it's crazy, guys, when you see the sand and uh, everything after it rains, things get kind of put down. But I am at the, uh, the northern tip of Newport Beach right now, right where the uh, Santa Ana River lets out. And it's a place we've never, I've, we've driven by this a thousand times with you guys, but never filmed here. So um, before I get into it, please like the video, please subscribe. We have a sponsor today, Patriot Gold. And I'll talk about them a little later. But uh, this, guys, this side is California. That side's Mexico. I'm not kidding. This side is Newport Beach. That side is uh, uh, Huntington Beach. But the Santa Ana River drains out here. And all the mucky muck that comes from, uh, you know, the runoff, this is one of the main parts where it exits and goes into the ocean. The crazy thing is once the sun is shining and you know it's it comes out i can go up on the hill and you can see the black line of dirt and oil and crap and everything that people throw into the street and it'll just be dirty that's why they tell people do not swim it's like seven days sometimes it gets to be 10 days but it's just nuts so uh so much is going on right now and uh first thing uh, Orlando Airport just announced that they have a fuel shortage. Now, all the major airlines are involved in this saying, hey, well, we may have to divert. We may have to land flights early before Orlando so that we can fill up and have planes so that they won't be stuck there. Think about this. You know, what is this? You know, some third world Zimbabwe. I mean, come on, guys. This is getting ridiculous right now. So here you've got you know, all these airlines participate in this. Read the story below, but this is an absolute mess. And the idea of a soft landing, you know, we've got so much coming out this week as far as news in the economy. You've got the Fed meeting this week. Uh, Bob Kudla, I got his newsletter, which I love this. He's predicting inflation coming at 7.3%. He's predicting a half point bump in the interest rates, which again, everybody's predicting the half point bump. So if there's anything else, if they don't, if it goes up, if it goes down, it's going to be, you know, a shock. But, uh, you know, it is crazy to see the Santa Ana River this full. Crazier is people actually come out here, walk their dogs here, swim here, and hang out here. It's insane. It's absolutely nuts that they do that. But, uh, you know, household net worth dropped $13.5 trillion this year. $13.5 trillion. Uh, in the first nine months of the year. They keep records quarterly, so the first three quarters of the year. Look at all the crap in the water there. Isn't that terrible? It's kind of circulating around. But for those of you that know the area, the riverbed's full. I mean, it's been raining so much that we actually have runoff right now, which is just odd and rare to see right now. So the last time that we had uh, the economy this messed up and people losing that much, of their net worth was in 2008 and 2009, guys. Now, one thing that was sent to me was people's Facebook posts about how bad certain counties are when it comes to eviction, because there's no more moratoriums anywhere right now. Tarrant County in Texas is having between 500 and 700 evictions a week right now. A week, guys. You know, up to 100 a day, people are getting evicted. Dallas Fort Worth right now the evictions are no better but think about this there is a place called the eviction lab which is designed to keep track of things like this and it was it was a great source for news and for things like for people like me during uh, the health crisis because I could get numbers and I could you know people would tell me um, you know eviction numbers and you could go to places like this and they would tell you where moratoriums were and things like that but the eviction lab is saying that they have never seen a spike in evictions like they have now. Look at the link below for this thing because it's crazy because the Dallas-Fort Worth area 
is going to be completely upside down. They're up 300% in the month of December right now for the first half of the month, up 300%. So this is tragic, guys, to say the least. So Janet Yellen steps forward. She goes on uh, uh, 60 Minutes and talks about, hey, uh, we've got, um, you know, uh, a crisis in liquidity and this problem with these foreign lenders. Well, now you're going to talk about it. And Grandma Yellen, I have enough problems with, but, you know, it's not a situation where people are being told to, hey, this is really happening. You know, inflation is bad. The economy is bad. Batten down the hatches. Fix your finances. You know, I get, I get two types of people. I had some guy who had to shove down my throat that he bought a $38,000 Rolex watch uh, two months ago and how stupid I was because the Rolex watches are manufactured products and the, one, the ones that they have in the store are not fake, they're real watches, even though I talked to these people, but this guy had to send me a receipt for 38 grand like he was big time. So ridiculous right now, I think. Now, there are people that have that kind of money that can go out and buy a $38,000 watch but I'm not impressed by that. You know, show me everything else in your life. Are you living at your mom's house, uh, right, you know, with a Rolex? Because I know people like that. Those people are a joke. And everybody else knows that they're a joke, too. People are expecting this big stock market rally called the Santa Claus rally that happens every year. It may happen. But I, I'm a fan of Greg Manorino, and he's back. Uh, he went and uh, laid to rest uh, Ed Hall, who... Uh, uh, was one of the last remaining uh, Pearl Harbor survivors. He went to uh, Waikiki and did that. It was very cool. And uh, Greg s says, just look at the 10-year yield. You're going to know if things are going to go up or things are going to go down. You know, we may see things jump up this week, but uh, are, you, do you, are you convinced that the economy is good right now? Are you, think, are you thinking things are great? Those, the shopping mall is off. Everything is off right now, and nobody wants to admit it. All of my friends business colleagues, uh, investors that I know, uh, people that I talk to have all said, we're spending less money this year, Dan. Why? These guys are, some of these people are loaded. Some of these people have all the money they could never spend in their lifetimes, and they're spending less of it on a uh, weekly basis. Let's talk about our sponsor, Patriot Gold Group. Through history, metals have always been used as money. And one thing that you're seeing with all the central banks right now is that they are buying gold like never before. You need to look at this as well. You need to get yourself an IRA or 401k that's backed by precious metals. And the best place to do that is Patriot Gold Group. They're the number one rated IRA and 401k for the last six years by Consumer Affairs. And uh, if you call 888-330-1431 today, you can get yourself a free investor guide with absolutely no obligation. Look at what the billionaires are doing right now. They're all hedging their stock market by investing in gold. Look at all the central banks. Look at Robert Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki is convinced that we're going to see $3,000 gold. It's absolutely crazy. You need to get yourself protected before it's too late. Call 888-330-1431 today. Let them know that I allegedly sent you and take a look at an IRA or 401k from Patriot Gold Group. Look at all the wood and the debris that comes out and runs out of the riverbed. Absolutely crazy. Now, is the doggy happy? When the stock market crashed in 1929, one thing that was absolutely fascinating to me is that there were hundreds of car manufacturers that were on the New York Stock Exchange at that time. Absolutely crazy. Everybody thinks, oh, there's like five or six. No, there were hundreds of car companies out there during that time. Now, there was just announced a company called Stellantis an electric car company that has announced layoffs and they're cutting back and they may not make it. I haven't even heard of this company. So there's a story below about Stellantis and you should take a look at it. So have you heard of Stellantis as an electric car company? Because I haven't. Now, 
Speaking of electric car companies, Elon Musk, he's warning everybody right now that there's going to be major problems when it comes to the market and uh, people need to get themselves ready and prepared for a downturn, a serious recession. Now, we're in a recession, guys, and you can lie all you want and you can you know, deal with things any way you want, but people are not spending money the way that they have in the past. So let, you know, share your thoughts on this stuff because it's, it's ridiculous that people don't get it. Now, a couple things. Uh, I had a uh, subscriber send me pictures of Chipotle uh, this last week and there was nobody in a Chipotle. I thought that's pretty interesting. But yesterday I went to uh, Boston Market because Lisa wanted turkey from Boston Market. So I went to get her the meal and they're like, ah, no turkey. Okay. Um, do you have any of the meatloaf? No meatloaf. Let me guess, you guys are out of ribs. She didn't want ribs, but he goes, yeah, all we have is chicken, and we've only got three of those. Three chickens, in the whole store, Boston Market. So take a look at this video, guys, because this is me filming inside that store, but this is basically a storage closet. And I asked the, I asked the store, before you see this video, I asked the manager, I said, is this place going down? Are you guys finished? No, 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 we're doing really good. We have a lot of nighttime business. At just lunch and daytimes, nobody's here. Well, it looks like you guys don't want anybody to sit here. Yeah, we do, but, you know, it's just not not a good time right now, and uh, we you're having supply problems. Take a look at this video. Okay, I'm in Boston Market right now. Look at this place, guys. This is open. They have no turkey. They have no meatloaf anymore. And uh, just a little bit of chicken, and that's it, guys. So, that's crazy, man. 90% of their business comes from online. The rest of it, it's done. It's done. Nobody's, you know, they don't even encourage you to sit inside this place. This is inside the restaurant. I'm in Costa Mesa, California right now. I'm in the corner of, uh, you know, Harbor and Adams right here. This is nuts, guys. Unbelievable. You guys seen any uh, fast food places like this before? This is the shape of things to come right now. If you guys ever have video of anything like that, feel free to send it. You know, you can generally email things that are under a minute. So film it landscape mode and send it over to hello at iallegedly.com. But it's crazy, guys, because remember when going out to eat and, oh, what a treat. Oh, let's, Let's go get something good. Let's go get chicken. And now it's horrible, guys. The whole experience is awful. The food sucked. They got rid of all their uh, side dishes. So uh, green beans, no, we haven't had those in two years. Oh, that's funny. I bought them two months ago from you guys. Oh, I have only been here about uh, a month. Okay. So Australia, to get a $500,000 house. Look at this dog just ripping through here. A $500,000 house, you need to make $180,000 in Australia. It is absolutely killing people right now. How much money they need to make right now on a regular basis just to get by. It is absolutely shocking. So we are seeing the destruction of the economy right before us. Now, one thing that we're seeing is uh, high brand layoffs. You're starting to see places like Amazon, other tech companies like Google, and Meta, and uh, you're seeing Microsoft, Philips 66, and uh, who else on this? Oh, and the Walt Disney Company, which would be nice if they went out of business, but that's just me. But this is a problem, guys, because people don't get that there's these uh, problems with uh, uh, these big companies that are cutting back because they're not selling what they used to sell. Look at all the trash that's out here. Isn't this terrible? Now, they'll come clean this up once it stops raining because it's supposed to start raining any minute now. But, uh, you know, who can afford, you know, not a lot of people make $180,000 and not everybody makes that in Australia right now. The rental problem is, is absolutely out of control. We're seeing potential food shortages and warnings with that. 
guys, one thing that was crazy is, you know, with Lisa at the house right now and the nurses and everybody caring for her, hey, can you get us this? Can you get us that? Yeah, I'll swing by my house and pick it up. And why wow, you have all this stuff. You have paper plates. You've got waters. You've got coffee. You've got all this stuff. Well, yeah, I've been planning on this stuff for two years at this, you know, the end of the world's going to happen. Not going to the store if I've got it at the house and we can use it here. So prepare yourself, guys. Understand this, that that this is going to get worse. These restaurant chains, you're going to see a lot of restaurants go out of business. The fast food places, the fast casual, the places that sell chicken and higher end items are going to go out of business. You know, I don't know how places like Five Guys are going to make it when a hamburger costs $20 right now. But In-N-Out Hamburger, which used to be the gold star greatest hamburger, the meat has gotten so small and it, it's horrible. So share your, you know, share your stories on this stuff. Look at that dog is just running all over the place. Look at that. Non-stop. So share your thoughts and all the stuff with the restaurants, with the stores closing, everything. I really want to know. Please understand one thing. When they raise interest rates this week, the market is going to celebrate it like it's Christmas uh, if it's only half a point bump. But everything, everything in our lives will go up again and you will pay more for it. You can lie to me and you can say it's no big deal. It's not going to affect interest rates for mortgages. It is. It's going to be horrific and it's just one more thing that's going to happen and you're going to see this happen around the globe. Now, economists like Nuriel Robini are stepping forward and saying things like, hey, wait a second, we're seeing such a global problem and it starts right here in the United States and that you're going to start to see households and you're going to start to see businesses not be able to afford their debt, their credit lines and their obligations. Let's face it, businesses have credit in many different ways. Sometimes you have, you know, companies that supply your product and if you go, oh, hey, look, 45 days instead of 30, they bump you with the interest rate. And this could be the thing that could kill companies based on the size of it. But Nuriel Rabini is saying the same thing. And now Janet Yellen's talking about this. And again, whatever they talk about is, hey, this could be an issue. It's good. It is an issue, guys. It's not a woulda, coulda, shoulda type of thing. This is bad. And this is going to be nothing but problems right now. Now, one cool thing that I found is I always get these infographics and all these cool stuff sent to me. And there's a global inflation heat map that shows you all the inflation around the world. And you can say, ah, it's no big deal. No, it is a big deal. And they're going to lie to us this week and they're going to give us and tell us that inflation, you know, is down and it's no big deal. But guys, the lie at 7.3%, they should add a one in front of it. Don't ever forget that. Uh, we've seen inflation so much higher over the course of the last uh, two years than we've seen, you know, in the 70s. I don't care what anybody says. I grew up in that. This is worse right now. And the fact that people are telling you it's okay, it's a different story. The truth is what you need to look at. Now, my daughter does a lot of different things. And one thing that she does with her production company is goes to events. And I got my daughter into boxing, okay? And the cool thing about this is that she took me to an event last night that was unbelievable. It was chess boxing, just like it sounds, chess boxing. These kids in their 20s and 30s, you know, they play chess for two minutes. And if somebody doesn't win, then they box for 90 seconds. And it was insane. It was absolutely unbelievable. It was one of the best events I've ever been to, sporting event ever. But uh, I want to show you guys this because it was unbelievable. The crowd, the, everybody. But imagine, these kids play chess. They don't win. And so then they go and they beat the crap out of each other. It was awesome. Take a look at this.
that was unbelievable. It was totally awesome. It was a fantastic event. Now, there's a reason why I showed you that because there is a new sheriff in LA County and this was up in Los Angeles. It was up at USC. It was at uh, the Galen Center. I think that's what the place was called. Anyways, first things first, we have a new sheriff in LA County, Robert Luna. And the day that this guy got sworn in, mm -mm, no more, no more trouble. Uh, they arrested 18 people in a uh, retail theft ring. There were so many cops at this thing last night, including sheriff out there. It was unbelievable. So they're not going to tolerate the retail uh, theft rings uh, that were going on uh, in L.A. County in the past. So, you know, bravo to them. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Onward and upward, guys. Just wanted to do a quick video today to show you this place. And uh, it's different, you know. But I'll go up on the hill later on in the week when the sun's out. And you can just see the, the black plumes coming through the water. So please don't forget the new email address, which is hello at iallegedly.com. Also, we're on all the social media channels with Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and all that stuff. Follow us there. And a bunch of cool announcements. A new email is going out this week. If you want to join the email list, the top thing in the video description uh, is join the email list. Onward and upward, guys. I will see you guys very soon.